we're in the business of, and, and I'm an actor myself. So I, awesome. I, yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not gonna come down on you for being an actor. Because um, <laughs> if I did, it would be me as well. But there are a lot of actors out there who are, um, they spend all their time in the marketing phase. Yeah. And I, that always concerns me a little bit when I see actors that everything they talk about is about w which headshot they have yeah. and their new yeah. business card, which, uh, you know, somebody showed me their business card tonight and it was awesome and that's great because yeah. you need those things. You totally do. And the marketing side and versus, or the, or the business side. Versus the craft. Versus the craft. And could you talk a little bit about how you balance those yourself as an actress? Um. Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I I am one of those people that if social media was not a necessary evil, I would definitely not be on it. I love it, but it's such a love-hate because yeah. I, I don't take my value from how many likes I get on Instagram. You know, and we're all guilty of that. I've definitely had my moments where I'm like, how many likes did I get? And then you go through and you see which people you're following. You know, like, which of my people that I'm actually following liked my, we've all done that, I hope. Or I'm alone and it's fine. But um, <laughs> I've done it. Yeah, so, so like, there, but there is a balance because um, in casting, unfortunately, there will come times when I've been out for a pilot or something where, you know, you won't get it because so-and-so has however many followers than you and it's the dumbest thing. Right. But it is, so it is a necessary evil. So you do have to market, but that's any business. But at the same time, that goes for any, any business. It's true. If you only focus on marketing, but your product is weak, yeah. you're not going to have a sustainable career. You're not going to have longevity. And I think most of us are in, um, here for the long game. You know, we, we don't want to just be famous and then fizzle out because right. that's really sad. Right. You know, we want, we're actors or we're, we're, we're business people. We have, we're obviously have some creative outlet and we want to do it for life. That's what we've decided. So you do have to hone your craft. And I do that, um, by studying. I mean, I don't have a lot of time to take classes cause I'm, I'm literally in boot camp. So for that, right. like you are in boot camp all the time for soaps because everything's one take and they really want you to be word perfect. It's ridiculous. Um, but I do try to watch, like I'll study Meryl Streep films and I'll, I'll sit there with a notepad and um, I personally don't take classes. I have before, but for me personally, and that's something I want to like reiterate tonight, you're all your own person. You all have something to offer. You are all, I mean, that's what sells you and, and what makes you unique and what's going to make your product thrive is that we're all unique. You know, um, if you and I were going to imitate each other and we were going to go in for an audition and we were going out for the same role and I studied you and I can like do mannerisms and I can do impersonations really well and I decide I'm going to go do it like exactly how I think you're going to do it and you want to do me, we're still not going to be perfect um, reflections of each other because we're not, because we're unique and we have um, unique qualities to who we are. So I think it's important to to be who you are, that's important. And why I'm saying that with this question is because when I would be in classes, I make weird uh, instinctual decisions that that's the reason I book. Um, to me, they seem like the only way you could play this scene, but for some reason, they're not how people play the scene. <laughs> and so teachers would try to beat that out of me, and then I would not book. So what I do instead is I will do a study on somebody that's amazing, like Meryl Streep or Katherine Hepburn or um, Kate Winslet, and I'll watch all of their films, and I'll try to find the through line. Right, right. So then I take notes, and that's what I do. But you do have to focus on your craft, because that's the long game.